There are several texts with loose copyrights that I'd like to show people online. The first one is Tom Judson's Abstract Algebra Theory and Applications. You can choose to read it online or download it. If you go to download it, there's a printable and a regular edition. And if you go and look at it, this uh, is under the GNU Free Documentation License, which is a fairly free copyright for the text. And uh, it has um, the chapter dependencies, which is nice to have, dated 2021, which is fairly recently. An algebra covers preliminaries, integers, then groups, cyclic groups, permutation groups, cosets, and Lagrange's theorem, introduction to cryptography, algebraic coding theory, isomorphisms, normal subgroups and factor groups, homomorphisms, matrix groups, and symmetry, the structure of groups, group actions, the silo theorems, rings, polynomials, integral domains, lattices and Boolean algebras, vector spaces, fields, finite fields, and Galois theory. And there's a copy of the documentation license. So this is free for download on the internet. I will link this page. The next is the Trillia group um, for the analysis and the number theory. Their texts look decent as well. Um, their first one is the basic concepts of mathematics. And if you look at the license on it, you'll see it's a CC, a Creative Commons license, which is a fairly, again, another fairly loose license. I'm no expert on licenses, but I know that these types pretty much let you share it and, and work out of it and, and distribute this stuff free of charge. So this book's an introduction. It looks like it's at the freshman undergraduate level. The abstract algebra looks like an undergraduate text, by the way. So he goes over the set theoretic notations, the real numbers system, Geometry uh, of n dimensions, vector spaces. Oh, so it looks like maybe linear algebra might be good to have. Um, I might do a review on an online linear algebra book next. Um, there's background on who this Zay Khan person is that wrote these analysis books. So that's the basic concepts of mathematics. Um, then is Mathematical Analysis 1. It's under, these are all under the same license, which is wonderful and something to be thankful for to these authors. Um, you can get it in paperback. The Analysis 1 is probably a sophomore. It covers uh, set theory, real numbers, fields, vector spaces, metric spaces, Function limits and continuity, um, differentiation and anti-differentiation. It's got about 367 pages. Says these were from lectures given at the University of Windsor in Canada. Um, does it say the level... Uh, the basic concepts of mathematics he does say before. And uh, he says it was, um, okay. So you can, look, you can look at that. Then the next one is volume two of the um, mathematical analysis. And that is 436 pages by, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Elias Zaycon. Um, all these books are in the Trillia group, the um, 
the basic concepts of mathematics, the analysis one and this analysis two, and the number theory that I'll show you. Um, it has the uh, generous copyright. And this book covers differentiation on e to the n and other norm linear spaces, volume and measure, measurable functions, integration. So it's the beginning of functional analysis. Calculus using Lebesgue theory. So uh, that's a, the, a, a good, looks like a good beginning. Uh, 436, 367, roughly uh, 700, wait, 4, 3, uh, 800, 800 pages. And the basic concepts, another 208 would be roughly a thousand pages on analysis that are free to distribute. And then there's this introduction to number theory course from Trulia, which is by this gentleman, Leo Moser, dated 1957, uh, Creative Commons license. It's in book form here. Starts with compositions and partitions, then arithmetic functions, distribution of primes, irrational numbers, congruences, Diophantine equations, combinatorial number theory, and geometry of numbers. Um, so this is, it says that he's using elementary in both a technical sense, avoiding complex variables, and in the usual sense, being easy to understand. So it should be a fairly low level of material. Um, you notice near the end of the table of contents, he says classical unsolved problems and unsolved problems and conjectures. So that looks interesting. It's 95 pages. Looks like a quick um, introduction to number theory. So that's it. Um, I'll do some other books with these similar licenses. I'll look them up and I'll do a video on them in a little bit. I'll link them in the description. Thank you.